Hi Aquarius, welcome to your weekly forecast for December 9th through the 15th. We're going to check in here and see what's going on in the week ahead. We're going to use this little holiday angel deck here. Uh, it's a playing card deck because I couldn't find holiday tarot or oracle decks that I liked. And then we're going to pull an oracle card for you, an angel message for you from this deck here because we have some full moon energy, full moon action happening midweek. And so I always like when we're in that release energy to bring in a nice soothing little angel message. So we're going to see what's happening, my darlings, for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What is happening in the week ahead for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising? We're going to go ahead and pull cards for you. Monday, Tuesday for Aquarius. Wednesday, Thursday for Aquarius. And Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for Aquarius. Alrighty, my darlings. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Monday, Tuesday, you have King of Hearts. So, this would be in traditional tarot what we would refer to as King of Cups. Aquarius, you may be dealing with a water sign in the beginning of the week. It could be a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces. Uh, however, King of Cups can come in in a couple of different ways. And I try to go over the different scenarios because this reading is a general reading, okay? And so as a reader, when you pull cards, it's your job to kind of feel the energy and how that card applies to that person but I'm not reading for one person here right so it, it can apply in a lot of different ways so uh, first scenario like I said some of you might be dealing with a water sign second scenario is this you might be um, bringing up that energy within yourself if you have water in your moon or in your rising that may be a dominant energy that you're feeling especially with that moon energy coming in midweek this is three days before the moon energy you may be in your feelings you may be in your emotions in the beginning of the week uh, however uh, this could also indicate a sense of relationship like stable relationship long-term relationship like marriage kind of relationship so some of you might be thinking about that kind of thing right if you are married you might be paying a lot of attention to your relationship if you are married to a masculine person or a masculine energy they may be really your focal point in the beginning of the week there could be a lot going on with them or they might be requiring more of your attention or you might just be feeling like you want to be spending more time with them and that's one of the things that's happening with the full moon energy in gemini in the middle of the week is people are going to be either super focused on their finances or super focused with their love relationship and some people are going to be in panic mode about it so you might be thinking about your romantic life or your romantic relationship since you have the king of hearts here you've got a heart card coming up we don't have any diamonds coming up just yet you might be kind of wondering about your emotional connection with other people or emotional intimacy one of the things about the king of hearts is he can be a little bit aloof sometimes. He can be uh, a little bit withholding emotionally, even though he cares very deeply. He can also be very generous. He can also be very abundant. So some of you might be trying to find that balance within yourself. You know, uh, Aquarius, somebody said some something in the comments. I don't know if it was last week or the week before. I don't, and I can't remember if it was the love reading or if it was one of the weekly forecasts. But somebody had said something about how, uh, you know, they were an Aquarius and Aquariuses are always kind of seen as being icy, but they didn't care and they didn't mind it that people had accused them of being icy. I know Aquariuses, I have, you know, the, the Aquariuses that I know have never seemed icy to me. But maybe there could be someone in your life that's making you feel like they want you to be warmer or they want you to behave more like a water sign or something. So you might be trying to find that balance within yourself, like a comfortable, authentic balance. And, and you might be coming more into your heart space in the beginning of the week, Monday, Tuesday. You may be feeling those full moon vibes. And the full moon is always going to bring us into our feelings. So whatever's happening for you Monday, Tuesday, Aquarius, you may be in your feelings, okay? Some of you uh, might be really kind of thinking about uh, masculine energy, and what masculine energy is to you and what kind of masculine energy you want to have in your life.
uh, it, it could be something along those lines as well. Some of you might be taking like this whole kind of trip down memory lane and just looking at your experiences with masculine energy up until now. Uh, there could be something also where there's some assistance coming your way. Maybe somebody is stepping in and helping you in some way. Um, if you've been feeling like you've been having a hard time right now and maybe you've just been a really, really independent person and something might be happening in the beginning of the week where the universe is giving you a lesson to allow other people to step in and be of help to allow someone else and, and like, you know, come in and kind of give you a hand where it doesn't have to be you by yourself being so independent all the time. It's wonderful to be independent, but sometimes the universe likes to remind us that we deserve to have someone step in and help or we deserve to have, uh, you know, uh, help in our life. So something could be coming in for some of you in that way as well. Wednesday, Thursday, Aquarius, you have five of clubs right you see that right there five of clubs Woo! okay there we are five of clubs so this could be some competition this could be some arguments now um this doesn't surprise me because it's coming in in the middle of the week so it's coming in as we are in that um full moon energy and that full moon energy like i said it's gonna incite some worry in some people or i i think i i think i mentioned in this video some of the things that i've been reading online and coming across through uh you know some certain astrologers that i follow some of them have said that this full moon in gemini is going to cause people to panic a little bit about their love life or about their finances and so there could be some quarrels or some arguments happening I'm going to be straight up honest with you, Aquarius. I don't feel like you're panicking about your money or like you're panicking about your love life. I do think you're thinking more deeply about those things, but I don't feel a panicked energy from you. I feel like you guys, or at least those of you who watch my videos, you're going to be pretty balanced about it. But I'm feeling this five of wands or five of clubs uh, in your energy coming in from other people. So there could be people in your life that are like accusing you of not being available enough or, you know, not um, being there for them enough. And there could be something because they're really super sensitive and they're in their feelings and they're in their insecurity and they're feeling that full moon energy. They might kind of come in arguing with you or they might feel really insecure in some way and they feel like you're getting more attention or you're, you know, maybe somebody helped you out or gave you assistance and maybe that made somebody else feel jealous or how come you get help or how come, you know, what's going on there. There could be in some way where somebody's trying to pick a fight with you or trying to compete with you don't take it personally understand and understand that this person is feeling super insecure right now they're really feeling those moon energies really heavily don't take it personally and don't let them pull you into um don't let them pull you into their drama okay i also feel for some of you because these energies and people are going to feel insecure some of you might feel like people are challenging you at work or in a work situation, you may feel like people are being more catty or people are competing with you in your work situation or they're trying to make it seem like you don't know what you're doing. Take this as a compliment because they wouldn't be trying to compete with you or they wouldn't be trying to make you seem incompetent in some way if they didn't feel threatened by you right? They feel like this place isn't big enough for the both of us and they might feel like they have to come in and fight you. Don't let them pull you into that negative energy. Don't let them pull you into that lack mentality. Aquarius, you guys have been in a really good place and I think a lot of you have been working really hard to be in that good place mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Don't let somebody come in and, and, and knock you off or knock you down from where you are right now. And understand and know, just take it as take it as a compliment. Take it with a grain of salt. Oh, well, they must feel threatened by me. I must be doing a really good job. It must be very evident to everybody around here 
that I do a good job or that the higher ups like me and they feel a little bit threatened by that. Okay, well, I'm, but I'm, I'm not going to pull, I'm not, I'm not going to let them pull me into that lower vibration. So keep that in mind. Your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, my darlings, we have Ace of Hearts, Ace of Cups. So you may be receiving something at the end of the week in terms of an offer. Okay, for some of you, it can be in your love life. Maybe there's some competition. Maybe some king of hearts is stepping up and showing you some attention or you're in the king of hearts energy and some relationship is moving forward. And maybe middle of the week, you have people come and competing with you or or trying to compete for your attention or they don't want you with that person. They want you to be with them or it could be in a work situation right, where you're going to be offered something that's going to give you a chance to do the kind of work that you're going to love more, or that is more fulfilling for you. Uh, but, you know, Ace of Hearts or Ace of Cups, it's definitely a really big offer coming that's going to be bringing you fulfillment, that's going to bring you happiness. So if it was something like a promotion or a job offer, it would be something that's going to allow you to improve the standard of your life or the standard of your living, I should say. You know, if it is a romantic relationship, then it would be something with the hope and the intention of long-term, of, you know, emotional intimacy, emotional connectedness, you know, this closeness. The thing that makes me so happy about Ace of Cups or Ace of Hearts um, is when it comes up for me in a reading, it has a special meaning over the years I've seen. I feel like when it comes up, Spirit is saying that the person that I'm reading for is finally done with suffering. Like they're in this place where they're like, you know what, universe, enough is enough. I'm, I'm done with the pain. I'm done with the drama. I'm not going to let somebody make me feel bad about myself. I know the red flags are. I, I've learned my lesson. I'm never going to fall for that again. I'm just, I'm done with feeling that way. And the universe says, amazing, awesome, great. Aquarius is now ready to learn through happiness. Aquarius doesn't need pain as a teacher anymore. Aquarius is ready to learn from accomplishment, success, uh, you know, happiness, fulfillment, connection. And so it's kind of like your life lessons turn around to where you get to learn through receiving, through positive experiences. So I feel some of you are making that beautiful shift this week. You may be releasing something big time in the middle of the week with the full moon. And I have to say this, and I'm not saying it to be a negative Nancy, and I'm not saying it to scare you. But those of you where midweek you do feel challenged in some way or there is some fight or disagreement and you do end up having to, you know, distance yourself from someone, it may hurt a lot. You may have a very big, very intense release in this full moon energy. But the reason why it's happening is you are making this shift to where you're like, you know what, I'm ready. Some of you are like, oh, I made that shift a long time ago. But other ones of you, you're making that shift now. And so you might have a really intense release, but it's because you're making such an intense shift, right? And regardless of whether you made that shift before or you're making that shift now, something positive is happening for you at the end of the week where it's a part of that positive lesson like here's a here universe is teaching you a lesson through some positive experience something that you're being happy to receive now i said for some of you it can be love it, it, it can be a promotion it can be an opportunity or a project that's bringing you happiness but whatever it is it's going to be emotionally fulfilling and i think some of you are manifesting that because in the beginning of the week you're in this energy of like the heart energy right and so you have more heart energy coming in there. Let's go ahead and check out your spirit message for the week. And again, my darlings, please check out your uh, moon sign, your rising sign videos. Some weeks those may resonate with you more than others. They may be helpful to you. So check those out. Your angel message for the week is angel of self-worth. Well, there's a powerful message. You are currently undervaluing yourself. It's time to regain your self-worth. So that might be what's happening in the middle of the week. Like somebody's challenging you or making you feel bad about the way that you've been doing. Or they're being mean to you and you're feeling like, oh, why are they being mean to me? Or why are they competing with me? You know, people don't feel like I deserve to have this job. Or people feel like I don't deserve to be here. And it doesn't matter what they think. It's not about whether they, they're competing with you because they feel threatened by you. So 
but you need to have enough self-worth to know that, to realize that, to see that, okay? Something might be happening in your life right now where you're allowing it to make you feel bad about yourself or you're taking it personally when it's not meant to be taken personally. So spirit wants you to work on seeing your value and your worth. A really powerful affirmation for that can be asking, you know, universe, God, angels, to help see, to, you know, um, to just say, help, help me to um, love myself the way that heaven and the angels love me. Help me to see myself the way that heaven and the angels see me. If you're open to working with uh, archangels, I feel Archangel Joe Fiel is really amazing to work for, uh, to work with in that capacity. You know, she's really great for helping with positive thinking and to, to be more loving towards ourselves. Uh, rose quartz is an excellent crystal to work with when we're trying to work on loving ourselves more. Um, and fluorite, fluorite is actually very helpful and just really helping to see how we're just fine the way that we are. So um, that can be some helpful things you might want to incorporate uh, in the coming week or weeks. So uh, again, watch your moon sign and rising sign video. And Aquarius, check out the channeled messages, the channeled message for December. Um, I'll have a link for that in the description of the video. If you're more curious about love life, I'll also have the love readings for December linked in the description. Private readings are still on hold. I'm hoping to have the calendar up on or around the 15th of December. I will absolutely, uh, you know, put an announcement when the calendar is up, but private readings are on hold just for a little while longer as I'm trying to finish up the 2020 videos um, and get those up there. So I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, uh, and I'm wishing you a fabulous week, my dears.